Is that the thing you use for dogs? Uh, this would work for dogs, the turning dog, um, and, a, and of course the pepper spray. But when I get to the stun guns, I'll show you, um, and I'll show you why they work for dogs. But these would probably work to get that down. At least my loss of oxo whenever I get them, I can be gone for days up in my closet. children. This is the transmitter. This is the receiver. You sink them for 3 to 21 feet. So you put this like say on their shoelaces, their armband, their belt loop. If they go beyond that perimeter, it starts beeping letting you know, keep your eyes back on your child. If this falls in the water, this goes off just beep, 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 won't stop until you retrieve it. Now, it's going to be ruined. Um, you'll have to throw it away afterwards, but it's, if it saved the life of a child, who cares if 30 bucks go buy a new one? But these are really, really good. They work very well, and they're super easy to, to sink. And it's called Where's Your Baby? Uh, the coupon, like uh, the over. These are made of all aluminum, like he said, some are made of, I guess, metal, sticks, whatever. Um, they are uh, legal in all 50 states. There's not even an age regulation on the Kubaton. I do a lot of events like gun shows and big women's trade shows and that type of thing. And I swear the cops will come over to my table and they will stand there and say, every woman should have a coupon. They will paralyze a person with pain. They are very, very effective. They, they were um, developed by a martial arts guy named Kubito, I think his name was. And they put them right on your keychain, so they're always right there. So say someone comes up from behind you and you're walking to your car, bam, bam, on the knee. I'm telling you, they're on the ground crying like a baby. These will hurt. These will break bone. They're used uh, by law enforcement to stab, poke, jab, soft tissue, bony surfaces. Law enforcement calls them the attitude adjuster because they will change the attitude of even the most violent offender. Is it a new law that they're illegal? Because I know way back when I was in high school, the metal ones it is. were illegal, so I had to have a... It, it depends. Law. There are some that are, are longer. Mm -hmm. um, I, I want to say they're called a baton, but I can't remember. But these are legal in all 50 states. We made sure that ours were the legal link. So you can have the points. I know it used to be it was plastic and it was flat. Yeah, no, you can have, there's some made with the flask and some made with the, the point. These are ours and... Uh, you start getting into longer. Yeah. Um, short club weapons are illegal. Uh, sectional weapons, I can talk with my charts. If you're getting into that, that category, yeah, you have legal issues. Um, because of the amount of power and damage that they can cause, they can break, you know, smash your soul. Oh, they will break bone. These will cause damage, but this is more minimal, I mean, it's, it's more that self-defense direction. I mean, you wouldn't say go and and choose this as a weapon to attack somebody. would not be the ideal weapon to, like, go and attack somebody, but to defend yourself, right? Yeah. Um, I did a, a party for a bounty hunter a woman, actually, in Elk Grove. She had had police training, uh, you know, gone to the police academy, everything. And she said she uh, got out at a truck stop one day because she had spilled ice on herself. She opened her door, broad daylight, was just going like this. And she said someone came up behind her. And she said, Trish, all those years of police academy and everything, and I just went. And she said, I remembered my coubaton. I grabbed my steering wheel, pulled out my coubaton. And she said, bam, bam, bam. 
she broke almost every bone in his face mm -hmm. with the coup d'etat. He was a third striker, and she says, I know I would have been dead. And the odd uh, one guy, another trucker pulled up, jumped on that guy, and told her, get in your car, lock the door, and call law enforcement, and they came and they got him. But it literally saved your life. So, um, you know, they, you know, I mean, that's kind of scary. I wouldn't necessarily want to break every bone in somebody's face, but I'm telling you, if someone was going to rape or kill me, sorry, sucker, you know, I don't care. I'm going to protect myself. So um, the, the last um, item, oh, I forgot this one, the Aquanet Keepsake. This is used to store valuables, so it's great for people that travel. So you can put, you know, a small sun gun, pepper spray, pads, jewelry, whatever. And it's weighted, so it kind of feels like hairspray. You can actually put pins, paper clips in there and shake it, and it sounds like hairspray. So you can put it on your sink or, you know, uh, when you're traveling, and no one would know. And those are $25. And then the last of the items is our stun guns. And uh, stun guns use bolts and amps to work. Uh, the amps are what's going to bring down a person. The bolts is how fast it's going to get there. Okay? So, for example, this is our hot lips. It looks like a lipstick or a perfume. Very compact. It's 950,000 volts. It's got a little flashlight. That's your stun. Now, in answer to your question, you know the, the, uh, the fences for cattle, the electrical fences? They set off a current, a smell. That's one of the reasons that cattle don't like to go near those fences. I never knew this. This is from a cop who told me this. Came to my booth, actually signed up as a rep, and he said, stun guns do the same thing. If a dog is running out, and say you walk your dog and an aggressive dog ran out after you, this will not only throw them off and scare them, deter them, but there is a scent that the current sets off that animals do not like. So I thought that was interesting. But nevertheless, I don't know if my lost officer ever smelled that scent, but every time I would charge my guns and try them, she'd be up in the closet for days. So it really does uh, ward off animals. I've had people that have bought the Pack-a-Punch and the Striking Distance, which I'll go over, and they said they will never walk without it again, that they bought it for a human attacker but they have warded off so many animals because they walk somewhere where they're very vulnerable, not a lot of people, and um, that it works really, really good. So this is the only stun gun we have that is classified as a deterrent because you have to have skin contact with this one, okay? Um, the people that like these, are seem to be young gals that go night clubbing. They like these in their purse. This is what they tell me. I don't know, I don't go night clubbing, but they say they like this in their purse. It's small, they can take it out if somebody's bothering them and just sound it off and get people, um, you know, from, from bothering them. So that's what I'm told. I personally uh, am not crazy about that one because I don't want to have to touch anybody. I want a loud, nasty sound because I want to deter the person that's walking towards me. This is called Tiny Takedown, and that's $45, by the way, and it comes in black and pink. This is your Tiny Takedown. It's uh, completely rechargeable, just plugs right into the wall. It's got 1 million volts. It's got your LED flashlight, as all our stun guns do. <laughs> and that's 1 million volts. And remember, perpetrators look for an easy target. So you've got this in your hand. You're walking to your car. Someone's walking towards you. And you feel uncomfortable. Back off. I don't feel comfortable. This is your voice. I've got something to protect me. I'm a crazy woman with electricity. <laughs> and, you know, do not come any closer, please. 
they are probably going to look for some, someone else, unfortunately, because uh, the guy that interviewed the rapist uh, said that if there's trouble, if they think that the person is going to give them trouble, that they're attacking, they'll go somewhere else. They do not want to take the time. They, it's, you know, they'd rather have an easy target. Don't lose on your husband. Yeah. Oh, I, I did one event at the Tennessee Women's Expo, and this, I, I, she must have been 75, 80 years old. She came, she bought the 7.5 million volt pack of punch stone gun. She listened to me as I talked about it, dagged it up for her, and as she's walking away, she looked at me and she said, you know, my husband used to snore. <laughs> and I told my gal, I said, you go get her and you tell, you make sure she's not buying that for her husband. Yeah. She said she was just kidding, but I thought that was so cute. She's so spunky. This is our Call Me Crazy. It's 4.5 million volts. It um, looks like a cell phone. The people who really seem to like this are people that go into homes, real estate people, the new people do gold bug parties. Uh, notaries, insurance salespeople, because it looks like a cell phone, so they're not offending anybody, but they have something in their hand just in case. It's completely rechargeable. You just plug it into the wall. It's belt loop capable, or belt clip, so it can just go right on your pants. You do not have to take it out of the plastic. You just turn it on. It's got your six LED flashlight. And that's 4.5 million volts. And it comes in black and pink as well, and that's 60. This is um, this is the one I like. <laughs> I, uh, I was on Facebook the other day, and I said, "Oh, I feel like I'm in a Quentin Tarantino movie when I do this thing." It's, but I'm telling you, the people that buy have been buying this from me are police. They've been buying this one for their wives. And I asked the last guy, I said, why are you picking this one? And he said, because I know it's all about being a deterrent. And that's the one I wanted to have. This is 6 million volts. It's got, I better turn it on for I stun myself. It's got the stunning grips on the side. So, I've got a nice long reach, okay? Somebody were to grab that from me, six million volts is going through their body. Oh, I don't know they're going as they're going like this. This is um, a, a, a nice stun gun. It's got a really loud deterring sound. And actually, a friend of mine, my, my niece actually, um, she had a ref in Elk Grove. And she said she was walking to her car. She's a beauty parlor, uh, cosmetologist, beauty stylist. She was walking to her car and uh, in Elk Grove. And this guy came out. It was dark. And he said, can you help me with my car? It's broken down in the alley. Like, you know, duh. <laughs> yeah, it's broken down in the alley. And she had her striking distance. And he didn't see it, I guess. She turned it on and she said, where is it? <laughs> and she said, never mind. <laughs> it's, like I said, perpetrators are going to look for an easy target. And she let him know, I've got something to protect myself. And he took off. The chances of them taking off, I think these statistics are 56% of people that beg and plead for their life it's okay. in a threatening situation get raped or worse anyway. 25% if they put up a fight, now maybe not if they're trained in, like, like he's talking about being trained, but if they put up a fight, goes down to 1% if they have showed they have a personal You don't mind that I'm recording into you. No. Okay, so you. that's a huge just drop. Just yes. me to. How close do you have to be to that to feel it? Well, <laughs> you have to actually be, be touching somebody. I don't feel that oh. at all. You'd actually have to be touching someone. What does it feel like if you're touching it? Can you show me? 
<laughs> my, my liability insurance won't allow me to, to do that. But you can go on YouTube and uh, watch videos on uh, stun gun demonstrations. I don't know that if there's very many that are 6 million or 7.5 million volts, but they do have some demonstrations on there. And actually the Coupon too, if you were to go on YouTube, there are more demonstrations on YouTube on the Coupon than any other personal protection item. It's very interesting. YouTube is great. Yeah. <laughs>